If you've been selling on Poshmark, you know that one of their favorite promotions to run is called Closet Clearout, and they like to run it like two to three times a week at this point. So if you wanna learn how I utilize Closet Clearout to make as many sales as possible, then stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a part-time reseller on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kitizen, and ThreadUp. But in this video, we're going to be talking purely about Poshmark and even more specifically about their closet clear-out promotion. If you enjoy tips videos like this or thrift hauls or what's sold videos, definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button because I do put out at least two videos every week and I do a lot of videos just like this, which are tips videos to help you with your reselling journey, especially from the perspective of a part-time reseller. I will be talking about a few different things when it comes to closet clear out, some of which, again, if you've been selling on Poshmark, you're probably familiar with. So I have provided timestamps in the description below so that you can kind of skip around and watch just the parts that you need to, the parts that'll be beneficial for you. So let's start by talking about what is closet clear out. Closet clear out is a promotional tool that Poshmark has created to help sellers make sales. What you do is if you have an item that has any likes whatsoever, you drop the price of that item by 10% of the historically lowest price. So for example, if you're trying to sell a pair of $50 jeans, but you have dropped the price of it before to $45 and since then raised the price to $50, in order to enact the full benefits of closet clear out, you have to drop the price to $40 because you've already dropped the price to 45, Poshmark knows it. And so you have to drop the price another 10% because it goes off of the lowest historical price. And what happens after you drop the price is anyone who has liked your item since the last price will receive a notification as well as an email from Poshmark stating that you have dropped the price, you've put that item on sale, and they can get discounted shipping as well as your lowered price by obviously encouraging sellers to drop their prices and by offering discounted shipping on their end, Poshmark is hoping that more people will buy items and as a result, they'll make more money. We'll make more money too, but really Poshmark is doing it because they will make more money. It used to be that Poshmark didn't run this promotion very often and as a result, when it came around, it was pretty easy for sellers to go through their listings and see what listings they wanted to drop the prices on. And what a lot of people would do is is drop their prices and if no one bought the item at that lower price then sellers would just raise the price again and try to remember the best that they could you know how much they had dropped the price to the last time so that they could drop the price by another 10% the next time that they drop the price on it However, because Poshmark is now rolling out this promotion two to three times a week, sellers are finding it hard to continue dropping the price because at some point you can only drop the price by so much. I myself have experimented with a lot of different strategies when it comes to closet clear out. And you can kind of see the evolution of what I did with closet clear out if you go back to some of my older videos on my YouTube channel. But what I've landed on for the past probably like half year or so is what I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video. Now, I cannot take full credit for this, I actually came across this idea on Instagram a long time ago and I feel horrible because I can't even remember at this point who it was that suggested treating closet clear out in this way. However, I have since adopted that method, but I remember seeing it and I tried it out a few times and I fell in love with doing closet clear out in this way because it saved me a lot of time and energy. I have since then talked about this closet clear out method a lot, both on Instagram, which if you're not following me, I'm at Becky park on Poshmark and I've also talked about this closet clear out method a lot on my YouTube channel and I can't even credit the person who originally planted the idea in my head because I don't remember who it is but because I talk about it so much a lot of people call it like the Becky Park closet clear out method which again I cannot claim the originality of the idea because I know for a fact that it did not come from this brain it came from someone else's if you're watching and you know that you're the one that gave me the idea, please comment below so that I can fully credit you finally. But it is something that I have been exercising since I learned about it. What I do for closet clear out is instead of randomly dropping prices on items that have received likes, what I do for closet clear out is I will create a bundle for every person who has liked an item since the last closet clear out. I'll create a bundle for them and I will put a personalized message in there for them saying something along the lines of, hello, thank you for checking out my Poshmark closet. I see that you've liked this item, so I wanted to let you know that I'm willing to drop the price to 
blank amount and that blank amount is you know usually i usually do like 20 percent off sometimes if it's a brand new listing and i know i've priced it well maybe i will just offer 10 percent off if i'm really desperate to get rid of it anywhere from like 30 to 40 percent off but i'll say the price that i'm willing to drop the price to and i will let them know that poshmark will also be discounting their shipping by two dollars and 12 cents and then i ask them in the final sentence of my spiel would that be of interest to you if they respond by saying, yes, it would, then I respond back and I say, great, I will drop the price now, look out for the notification. And only then will I drop the price. The reason why I love this is because in the past, I was just blindly dropping prices on items that had a lot of likes or even items that didn't have a lot of likes, but what inevitably happened was the price would be dropped and I would often forget or just not have the time to go back in and raise the prices back up. But even if I did remember to raise the prices back up, I couldn't remember if I had dropped the price before. So if I wanted to utilize Closet Clear Out in the future, I wasn't able to drop the price low enough to attract buyers. Let me just take a moment to say here though that some people use the tactic of continuing to only drop the price by 10% off of their original listing price and that's because they're not necessarily trying to attract people who have liked the item many months ago or you know however long ago but they're only trying to attract buyers who have liked the item very recently so if you don't want to play the game of trying to guess if you've dropped the price before or not or even by how much you've dropped the price before then you can simply just drop the price by 10 percent and hope to attract just the people who have you know liked your item since the last time you participated in a closet clear out i hope that helps clear things up i mean there was just a lot of guesswork that went into it in the past when i was just dropping prices blindly and not only that but it took up a lot of time and more often than not people didn't buy my items even though i was participating in closet clear out the reason i love messaging them and waiting for a response from them before i drop the price is so that i only take the time to drop the price if the person actually says that they're going to purchase it at that price. So typically on any given closet clear out day, I'm only dropping the price of maybe like one to five items because one to five people have responded to me saying that they are willing to buy the item at that price. That saves me the trouble later of having to raise prices back up and I'm only taking the time to drop these prices because I know that they're gonna sell at the price that I'm dropping them to because I've received confirmation from these buyers. I'm going to show you a tutorial of how I do my closet clear out method step by step on my phone. Now, obviously when you're on the podcast Poshmark app on your phone. It is a little bit different than if you were to do all of these things using a computer, but the same ideas and principles apply. So the first thing I like to do is go to my newsfeed, which is where I'm at right now. And I got there by, if you look at the very bottom, there's a bunch of different icons. It says feed, shop, sell, news, and then your closet name. But I just went ahead and clicked on news. And then at the top, there are a bunch of different options as far as what specifically I want to look at when it comes to my newsfeed. I want to look at likes. So if I look at my likes, now what I'm seeing is every item from my Poshmark closet that has gotten a like, and it starts with the most recent like. So you can see this top person liked those pair of jeans nine minutes ago. And as I scroll, it's gonna show me likes from however long ago. I mean, it probably could show you up to like 30 days ago if you wanna see that far back. And so I see all of the items and I see the person's name. So what I do is I start at the very top, I start with my most most recent like and I'm gonna go ahead and click on this person's name and then it's gonna show her closet so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna talk you through kind of the psyche behind why I do some of the things that I do you don't have to take all of the steps that I take and in fact if you don't this will actually be a faster process but like I said I'm gonna explain why I choose to do the things that I do Ultimately, my goal is to show up in their newsfeed a number of times. Like I want in their newsfeed when they go to their Poshmark app, I want them to see that I have been very active in their closet. I follow them if I'm not already following them. And this person you can see I'm already following. So I follow them if I'm not already following them. I share like two items from their closet and then I create the bundle and add the item that they like to the bundle, send them the message, 
and then I'm out. And it probably takes anywhere from like 15 to 30 seconds to do that per person. But my strategy here is, like I said, to show up in their news feed as like a big chunk. I'm doing a lot of different things. They can't ignore the fact that I'm following them, that I've shared their items, and more importantly, they can't ignore the offer that I'm sending them when it comes to closet clear out and how much I'm willing to drop the price to. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually go to my friend's closet because I don't wanna send anyone a closet clear out message yet as it is Saturday night and it's not closet clear out today. So what I did is I went to my friend's closet. This is my friend Chi one I always, use her as an example I'm already following her so I'm not going to you know follow her again but that's the first thing I would do if I wasn't following her I would follow her the next thing I do is I just share a couple of her listings just the ones on top um, if you've watched some of my previous videos I have one video titled something along the lines of like do less and make more money on Poshmark just kind of talking about some of the things that you don't really have to do in order to be successful on Poshmark and one of those things is you don't have to share listings from other people's closets it's nice, but it just really doesn't do as much for that person as you think it would. And it definitely doesn't really do much in terms of bringing you sales. So while I have publicly said that it's not something that I encourage people to spend their time doing, I'm doing it right now because again, I'm trying to show up in my friend Chi Won's feed as much as possible. So I have followed her so far. I've shared two of her listings. That is like three things in her news feed that I'm going to show up as. So now what we're going to do is if you look at the very top right corner of my screen, you're going to see her little icon as well as a little shopping bag. And so I'm going to press on that and what it's going to do is it's going to take me to my bundle. It's going to show first everything that I have liked from her closet, but I don't care about that right now because right now I'm not shopping right now. I am selling. So I'm going to go to the top right corner again and you'll see another icon with three little dots. If I press on that, it gives me a bunch of different options, but I want to press on the option to switch to sell view. It's kind of in the middle there. So if I press on that, now I can see if I switch scroll all the way to the bottom everything that she has liked from my Poshmark closet. And you can see I've used my friend to do tutorials for previous videos. So you've seen a lot of different things that I have typed to her and whatnot. But what I do is I take the item that she has liked. So in this case, let's go ahead and do the not for sale J Crew top. And if you notice at the bottom of that listing, there are three icons. There's one where I can heart it or I can like the item. I'm not going to do that because it's my own listing. I can add it to her bundle and that is the icon with the shopping bag with like the little plus sign or I can share this item. Obviously right now what I want to do is I want to add it to the bundle. Ugh, I can't because this item is not available to purchase and I won't be able to do that for the seven for all mankind jeans either. So pretend that I did. This is the icon that you want to press. It's the one with the shopping bag and the plus sign. And what it does is it puts it up here in your bundle. Right now it says that the bundle is empty, but if I press that little shopping bag icon at the bottom of the listing, then it will actually put the item up here in her bundle. And if someone has liked more than one item in your closet, then at that point, I honestly kind of disregard the fact that it's closet clear out and I will add everything that the person is liked into the bundle and then I will send them, you know, whatever offer I am willing to send and then I will just go ahead and pay for discounted shipping. If that's something that you're willing to do, you can also offer to cover all of shipping or you can actually, you know, decide that you're not going to offer discounted shipping at all. And I do talk about selling bundles in this video here and that's one of the things that I talk about. But let's pretend that we have this one item in her bundle and now I'm going to send her a message message letting her know what I'm willing to do with the price since it is closet clear out. So what I do is I press on comment. I have something called a keyboard shortcut. I have a video about how you can create these on your phone or even on your computer. And I will link that video right here. But what I've done is I've created a keyboard shortcut in my phone so that when I type out CCO, that stands for closet clear out with an exclamation mark, and then I press space, now 
all of the things that I want to say to this person when it comes to closet clear out just shoots out. That way I'm not typing these sentences over and over and over again, but let me show you again just how quick that was. All I did was type CCO, exclamation point, space bar, and bam, all of that came out. That's one of the reasons why I'm able to do this so quickly is because of this keyboard shortcut in my iPhone. And like I said, if you wanna watch that tutorial on how I did this, it will save you so much time that you can use it to help you with your listing. You can do it when you are running a sale. There's a lot of different you know, keyboard shortcuts that I think you could create to help you really save time. So what I've done is I've you know, put this little spiel in the message section and mine says, hi, thanks for checking out my closet because today is closet clear out. I can drop the price of this item too. And this is where I just have to type in and how much I want to price this you know, top at. So let's say I'm gonna price it at $10. By the way, if you want to participate in Closet Clear Out and you want Poshmark to pay for $2.12 of shipping, the price has to be $10 or more. So this will not work if you drop the price to like $5. Poshmark will not cover shipping then. So make sure that you're not dropping the price to lower than $10. And by the way, I would never sell this particular top for $10, but let's say I am willing to drop the price to $10 and it would read, I can drop the price of this item to $10 and Poshmark would cover $2.12 of your shipping as well. Would this be of interest to you? And then I press post. Now the spiel is there and then I wait. If they send me a response saying, yes, I would love that. Or a lot of times people will say, yes, drop the price now and I'll purchase or, you know, whatever variation of that phrase. If they say yes, then I go in and I drop the price. And all I do to drop the price is I select the listing. I go to edit and I change the listing price to whatever it is that I agreed to drop the price to. Once I drop the price, the buyer has six hours to make the purchase in order to receive discounted shipping from Poshmark and just basically, you know, get that deal. And then once I have dropped the price, I go back in, I'm going to go ahead and cancel my listing edit because I'm not going to do it. I go back into the bundle comment section and I just leave a message saying something along the lines of awesome. I just dropped the price. Happy face look out for nope not look out look out for the notification um oh my gosh i cannot notification i cannot type and talk at the same time um i really should create a keyboard shortcut for this as well i think actually i will do that literally the moment that i stop creating this tutorial but i type this message, I press post, and that's just another reminder for the buyer to go ahead and make the purchase because they will get a notification from Poshmark, they will get an email, but that's just a way for them to get yet another notification from me to remember to make that purchase since I have dropped the price. Again, I am trying to blow up in their news feed so that they know I have something great to offer them. And once they make the sale, I wanna kind of blow up again in their news feed to remind them and to make the sale within those six hours. Very seldom I drop the price and the person ends up not purchasing, but that really doesn't happen very often. And the number of times that I have made sales from this method is worth it to me that every once in a while, you know, people will say that they're gonna buy it at their price and they just don't. I hope that was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments section down below if you still have any questions. This is how I've been utilizing Closet Clear Out, like I said, for the past like half year or so. And as a part-time reseller, anything that's gonna save me time, I am here for. So let me answer some of your frequently asked questions when it comes to my closet clear out method. First of all, I have had people ask me questions like, is it a little too spammy? Do you get people that react negatively to, you know, you reaching out to them in that way? I'm sharing my closet clear out method with you, but it's your choice as to whether or not you decide to utilize it yourself. I know for some, it just feels too pushy. I know for some, it feels a little too scammy. And I totally understand that. I think a lot of it has to do with your phrasing when you send the message out, if it comes across as too pushy, if it comes across as too desperate, then obviously that's how it's going to read to your potential buyer. And that's why I have taken a lot of care into how I've worded my spiel that I send out to people. So for me personally, I'm comfortable with sending that message out to hundreds of people a week. That being said, I have gotten one person that responded with something along the lines of, 
oh, this is too pushy and I don't like it or something like that. If people are not interested, generally they just ghost you or I have a lot of people respond and they say, you know what, like I'm not really in a position to buy right now, I was just browsing or you know, whatever reason that they can't buy it and I'm totally cool with it. Sometimes I'll respond and be like, okay, thank you so much for your interest. Usually I don't, but for the most part, I feel completely okay with sending out that message. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's kind of like if you go to a retail store, some people really like and want for the sales associates to like follow them around and ask them questions and offer suggestions. Some people go shopping and they just wanna be left alone. They don't want anyone to look at them. They don't want anyone to talk to them. They just wanna shop in peace. You don't know who's coming into your Poshmark closet. So some people maybe just wanna browse. They just wanna like stuff. They don't really wanna interact with you. And when you do reach out to them in such a way, they might get turned off by it. But I want to be a little bit more proactive about making sales and just sitting back and waiting for everyone to send offers to me or you know whatever. So I'm okay with being a little bit more assertive when it comes to making sales. But again, if that's not your style, that is totally okay too. Another question that I get a lot is, do you find that people are very confused when you send them this message? Or do you feel like people don't know what closet clear out is and you're just making it harder to get the sale? Um, no, I feel like maybe it's the way I've worded, again, my spiel, but I feel like either people just ghost me or they say yes, or they have a reason as to why they're not gonna make the sale at that time. I don't think I've ever gotten a message from someone who was very confused about what was going on. Um, I have had people who were brand new to Poshmark be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that this was a thing. Thank you so much. Yes, I would like to purchase with that deal. I've had people who maybe I had to talk them through the process a little bit, but for the most part, they got it really quickly. We made the sale and we were good to go. So I don't think that that's an issue I've run into. If you find that you're running into it, you might look into the words that you're using when you're explaining this to your potential buyers. Maybe it's kind of confusing. Maybe you could clean it up a little bit. But for me, I haven't really noticed that um, there have been any issues. Another question I get is, do people respond the next day when closet clear out is over? Like maybe they don't see it in time. Yes, that happens a few times, but it's still a sale because if someone wants the deal and they didn't see my message until the next day, then I just send them an offers to likers and I still make the sale. I do have to pay for discounted shipping, but at the end of the day, I'm usually okay with it. So yeah, sometimes they don't see it in the time frame that they need to. And if that's the case, I just send them the discounted shipping as well. Another question I get is, how often does it actually work? I would say for me, it works more often than offers to likers. I don't know about you, but I went through many phases when it comes to offers to likers. I went through the phase where like, as soon as someone liked an item, I would send out an offer, maybe like within 10 to 15 minutes, right? Or like five to 10 minutes. I didn't feel like my success rate was very high. And then I went through a phase where I would wait until every evening and I would send out offers to likers on everything that got a like that whole day. And I would just send out offers that evening and sometimes I would wake up with a sale or two, but more often than not, it resulted in crickets. But I feel like every single closet clear out, I am able to make at least one sale from it. There are like a handful here and there where I don't, but I do think that for the most part, probably like 90% of the time that there is a closet clear out event and I participate in it, I'm making at least one sale because of it. And what I do now is I just wait until closet clear out because it's usually every three to four days. And when it is closet clear out, I will send out a message to everyone who has liked an item since the last closet clear out. So usually it's responding to three to four days worth of likes in my Poshmark closet. I'll send out messages to every single person who's liked an item. And I usually make, you know, at least one sale, but typically more than one so for me it feels like the success rate is higher I do also think it has something to do with the fact that I'm sending them a message and I'm putting something in a bundle because Poshmark has come out and said that if you're able to connect with your potential buyer and send them a message they're more likely to purchase something from you so I think there's that component of it and if I were to also send messages to people that you know I'm sending out offers to likers on maybe the success rate would go up a little bit higher as well I'm not comparing apples to apples here, 
but I do think that the success rate is a little bit higher using my closet clear out method than even offers to likers. I did like do a case study the other day. So the last time that we had closet clear out, I kept track of how many messages I sent out as well as like how long it had been since the last closet clear out as well as how many sales I made and how much time it took me. So I sent out 138 messages because in like four days time I had gotten 138 likes on different items. And so what I did was I sent them all that little message. It took me 50 minutes. I timed myself around 50 minutes. And as a result, I made four sales from closet clear out. It's not like amazing, but it's still four sales that I would not have made if it weren't for me being a little bit more proactive. Now that was a one-time thing. Sometimes the success rate is much higher. Sometimes I send out that many messages and I don't make any sales. So this is not a surefire thing, but I have seen enough success with it that I do think that there is some value to creating a bundle, you know, sending a message to your potential buyer and just explaining what you're willing to do since it is closet clear out. Those are my tips when it comes to closet clear out. I'm sure I'm missing something or I'm sure some of you may still have questions about everything that I've said. And if that's the case, please leave them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Also, if you have any tips on how to make sales on closet clear out, I would love to hear them. I'm sure everyone else who's watching this video would love to hear them. So if you don't mind leaving your tips down in the comments below either, that would be amazing. But that is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, if you learned anything, definitely hit that like button for me because it does help out this video as well as my channel. Thank you guys so much. I am wishing you many sales and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.